Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here. It's Wednesday, hump day, so you know what that means, y'all. It's another episode of Wellness Wednesday debuting now. So, I'm trying out this new perspective um, of shooting in my car. I have the phone propped up on a book holder, and then that book holder is standing on the my dashboard so you may see the steering wheel you may not i don't know how it's looking but i wanted to talk about my trip to the health food store um not too long ago y'all so recently um i've been feeling kind of i don't know a little off with my stomach and I don't know if that's from the plethora of fast food I had I'm willing to bet it is but also another thing that's been going on with me is that I don't know my stomach just doesn't feel right I mean for the most part like some days it feels fine other days it's like get me out of here oh gosh and the suffering and, you know, one of the key components of good health is good digestive health. So, I know, you know, like a good diet, exercise, plenty of water, that's what the key three ingredients to having good digestive health. But, what, a, what, what happens to those who are needing a little jump start, needing a little assistance, right? Um, there's probiotics, which have some merit towards helping in digestion. There's, you know, fiber and, you know, trying to include more fiber in your diet. But, um, with that being said, y'all, I mean, I try to incorporate more diet by cooking at home using whole grain um, just not eating out so much, and also, uh, trying to stay de-stressed, because let me tell you something, stress really makes you hurt, and it doesn't help that I'm big too, like, that tends to stress out your body more when you, are, um, when your pounds are weighing on your organs and whatnot, so... Another, yet another reason why I need to lose weight. But this product, y'all, I, I am unfamiliar with like homeopathic and holistic um, medicine. But I wanted to give this a try because, well, I figure why not? It couldn't hurt. But just to let y'all know, just because something is natural or holistic doesn't mean it won't hurt you um because y'all know the human body is so strong but it's so frail at the same time and um you think the littlest things that couldn't kill a person end up do killing somebody so just be careful on that if you know you when you're trying out a new product if you feel any different you want to stop using that product and um you know, let your doctor know or let a healthcare professional know. All right, y'all. So digestive bitters and from Earth Origins Market. It's a local market. Um, they have several locations throughout the country. Um, they have a couple in Florida. And, you know, I, I usually don't frequent health food stores because, one, they're hella expensive but two i mean i usually gro uh, gravitate towards traditional medicine the man-made medicines never really thought of taking a holistic approach or a homeopathic approach to making or excuse me using these sorts of treatments that have been around for years to better myself so I just find that odd. But hey, I hope this gentles my stomach. So digestive bitters 
for those of you that don't know, are a bunch of herbs that, as the name implies, help with digestive digestion, excuse me. So with these digestive bitters, well, they're called bitter because they do exude a bitter tasting um, characteristic. And the herbs, I don't think they'll name, yeah, they won't name it. So, oh, yes, they do. They do. Okay. So, Earth Origins dead names the proprietary blend of bitter, uh, bitter herbs that help with digestion. And it is as follows dandelion root, orange peel, gentian root, Oregon grape root, fennel seed, yellow dock root ginger root, blue flag root, prickly ash bark. And they tell us the herb strength ratio is a 1 to 5 um, strength. So for every um, unit of, every one unit of the blend, there's 5 units of dilution, which is usually water. Um... They also, it says citrus because, of course, you don't want to have something bitter. You know, you want to have the medicine more palatable. So, they add in um, a combination of citrus fruits. So, at least, you know, it doesn't go down all too bad. But still, you know, with some of these I'm familiar with, like, Gentian root is actually um, what leads up to gentian violet, and that what and that's what helps um, some women that have bacterial vaginosis um, kind of remedy that disorder. And then um, fennel seed, it's used in cooking a lot. Also, ginger root, dandelion root. Um, Sometimes some people use dandelion for tea. And um, dandelion helps with uh, stomach discomfort. An orange peel. I'm not sure what orange peel exactly does. I know it's a medicinal. It's used in Chinese medicine too, y'all. Orange peel. But of course it's called by its um, other name. But it does have some medicinal value. And then the directions say here to, since it's in a spray, you want to hold the spray nozzle close to mouth, spray three times into mouth before or after meals as often as desired. So, I mean, if I'm feeling a little mm, uncertain, I'll use this product. And then I'd like to do a follow-up. Um, maybe next month and see how this is, um, treating me. So it's $13.99 for the digestive bitters and Lord have mercy. It's already raining again, y'all. So well, I'm not looking forward to driving in this rain, but you know, we do what we have to do, y'all. Um, so yeah. I mean, digestive bitters have been, and holistic medicine, natural medicine, naturopath medicine, have been around for centuries. People had to cope and heal some way through um, you know, using like these products, these herbs and things from the ground to alleviate symptoms back then. They didn't have like Pepto-Bismol or shoot like Tylenol, Benadryl, none of that stuff. So this stuff does have some merit um, with holistic and natural path medicine, but I don't know. I just don't use it as often maybe as I should because, you know, you want to try to stay away from the man-made stuff. I always preach about not using stevia in, um, or excuse me, not using like sucralose 
ACE K or ACE sulfame potassium and aspartame. And then I vouch for stevia, yet when it comes to medicine, I should be on the same track, mind. <laughs> Such is life, ladies and gents. But yeah, um, I hope this works. I have used, like, my mother was also asking me about chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is regarded as the internal deodorant. So you take a small little droplet or dropper of the chlorophyll solution you can put that into your juice you can put it in the water which i don't advise because it is bitter tasting um smoothie whatever you drink that and then um when you have your next bowel movement it it'll really clean you out for the most part it it does make you go to the bathroom too so um not, it's not a laxative, but it kind of promotes natural bowel movement. But I opted for the bitters because, like, sometimes my stomach just doesn't... It just freaks the heck out when it comes to eating different foods. Like, I have my lactate pills or my lactose intolerance pills, but, um... I don't know, y'all. Like, my stomach sometimes it still feels like some sort of way and it does not want to um yeah it just does not want to feel good <laughs> so yeah but ladies and gents that's gonna do it for this episode of wellness wednesday let me know in the comment section if you're familiar with like using holistic medicine or um what else? Natural medicine. Do you want to go a naturalistic way versus the conventional man-made way? Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Any, qu any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger. Leave it in the comment section below. Any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Um, I mean, where could you get it? If um, if you have like a mom and pop health food store, go for it there. If not, you can probably get it at a Whole Foods market if you have that instead because they do also have that. Um, the health food or the health naturalistic sort of uh, items. You can also try farmer's market. I think that's another one. Um, it's a, it's a nationally chain farmer's market. I forget the actual name, y'all. I, I apologize, but you could probably get it there. Um, uh, yeah. If you've ever used that, um, digestive bitters, uh, I even think you can make your own too, y'all, which is interesting. Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below, y'all. But yeah, it's gonna do it for me. I'm just waiting on my mother to come out of the thrift store. And, um, yeah. So, take care. Let's get over the rest of this hump. And I will see you tomorrow for Thirsty Thursday with something on the extreme opposite of what I've been talking about today. But not to worry, y'all. I'm not wrecking my stomach or whatever. It's just, it's a little something I wanted to try and I haven't had soda um, since last week, so we're getting there. We're getting there. We just need to learn to deal without soda. And um, again, like yesterday, uh, True Citrus, True Citrus products, my order from Amazon came in today, so I'm so stoked. I got three boxes of grapefruit um, packets because I was missing grapefruit. And then I got some of the sweetened orange mango orange aid from True Citrus. So got some got some sustenance for a while. But yeah, y'all. Sorry for that little rambling. I like to ramble. So make it a great day today and every day. I will see you tomorrow. And until then, take care. Bye now.